the shooter code will look like taking the key initial key and value pairs, which is the file name and the content uh, within the file, and then for each work appears in the in, in the content, it will output as a key value pair as work and then one. This is the actual code uh, of the previous light. Uh, the highlight line is most important. It takes the f uh, it takes each line as an input and then trunk it into different tokens. And then whenever we see a whenever you see the works, um, and then it will set the key pair key value pairs that we mentioned as spirit light as um, the word and then one. The reduce stage also did the same, uh, um, just also did almost do the similar things, which take the intermediate result of the mapped output as uh, as their input, and then take the keywords as the key, and then the associate value in a list like uh, maybe one comma one comma one. This is the list of value looks like. And then count it of how many times it appears in this lid, and output it as a keyword, and then the sum of how many times this show up in the list to the final result. And the actual code will look like this. Also, you guys can take a look this code online and download from our tutorial website. So I'm going to do the views hands-on part uh, to run about the standalone version of the Hadoop program. So if you guys have a computer or laptops in hand, just uh, try to use the following command uh, together with me, and I will switch to my desktop to do that. So first of all, you guys need to log into the Future Grid Head Node. Um, we already sent an email to you. You have the password and username. Using that password and username to log into the Head Node, and then type Q uh, sub Steven. And, uh, yeah. Uh, are Are we doing live now with you? Are we doing the exercise uh, along with you? Yes. Uh, yes. Said, okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. So uh, I continue to do the exercise now. So first, you need to type Q sub and then Steven, other side to yes. Can you, uh, can you give us uh, two minutes for everybody to log in because we were in preparing for that. Uh, some other students sure. here are trying to log into yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, I will wait for two minutes. Hi, uh, can you increase the size of the uh, your font on your terminal? The font? Okay. Let me try. Um, do you know how to increase the size? Okay. If you hit uh, change settings, uh, window appearance. Yep. Stand font size, right? Is it large enough? I think it's too large, right? Can you guys see that? It's not too large. Okay. That's great. Looks <laughs> good. Cool. I will clean it first. Okay, everybody at UCLA is ready to continue. Can I continue now? Is that all of you guys have logged into the, the future grid head node? You, you, you see it? Everybody is fine. 
This is Jeff. Okay. Dawson. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, the the color is a little bit uh, undesirable for the font. It kind of uh, blends into the background. Is there a a, a bright okay. white? Okay. Sorry about that. It's fine. If you go to window colors, um, okay, you can use uh, use system colors. System colors. How about this? The colors should show up better now. Uh, that looks really good for us. Does everybody else on the call agree? Much better. Okay, if you guys agree, I will probably continue to work on the, the exercise. Okay, so first you guys need to type Q sub and minus I to get the machine. Actually, I already got it, so this is uh, just ignore my warning message. So after that, you guys need to type host name to get actually it show similar before the command line here is the number you need to remember because uh, we will use this host name combined with the other uh, the full domain name to monitor the Hadoop so for the, the details of how to get the public domain uh, already show in the web uh, the, uh, the web website so you guys just go to there and then see how to get it so for me actually the number is i54 on uh, the post name the, the public host name will be i54 then idp.iu.futuregrid.arc so I may type it out if someone uh, have the similar using the similar handle as me as the uh, big data dot India India dot future grid dot arc you can use the same uh, the rest of the uh, host name I am typing in with the with your host number and host name so just remember this one it will be useful later on so yeah it doesn't matter I just want to show you guys so for the next part, I'm going to run the uh, work count program in a standalone version. So first of all, you guys go. Okay, sorry. Let me see what's wrong. Okay. So first, you go to the slash term. No, a uh, slash under your home directory, the standalone version of Hadoop, and then bin. I will minimize it a little bit because then you see um, the slide. Okay. Okay. Can you guys see the uh, command line windows? Is that fine? Okay. I'll just keep going. So then Oh sorry. Our uh, first step is to go to the Hadoop work count first because we need to build it. So still the location is Hadoop work count on your home directory. Then make sure you have the work count program under here is work count.jar and then type dot slash build it. And then you, you have the same message as me as this build like this way. And then make sure all the things are in there with a work conduct draw. Then we go to the Hadoop standalone home directory and the bin copy the previous draft file to here to the current location which is Hadoop account work on the draft and then to here <coughs> if you type ls maybe a little bit slow because we are all in the same 
uh, file system, but it doesn't matter. Then you need to go to the uh, execution command of how to run it. Let me minimize this one first. So probably it's just Hadoop, then jar, workcount jar file, and then the class name is called workcount. The, and then give the input path of the Hadoop uh, work count program and the output directory of the program which is output you can you guys can just follow uh, the instruction on the slide or uh, online in the tutorial page they are the same so when I am running it it may take maybe 20 seconds to finish the entire process. <laughs> okay. To now, is there any question about how to run it? Okay, it starts. The reason that my start such low is because uh, we use the shell file system. Uh, actually, in my following talks, I will suggest you guys if you guys have your own machine uh, or your own cluster environment, you should um, put neither your program or input data as on the local disk, which means the worker node not in a shell file system. So it takes some time to run the uh, program because I think uh, we have a lot of students running on the same server. Take some time. So um, on the other side, is there any question from the TAs? Are uh, you guys are you guys working well on the standalone workcom program or also okay? As me that no result come out. Okay, okay. Let's see. My side is done. So probably after you see uh, a bunch of printing message. So, which means that you have already done uh, the uh, Hadoop WorkCamp program on standalone environment. So, just go to the Hadoop WorkCamp directory and then the output, and you will see some files already in there, which is the uh, result. it takes some time.